One of the brightest stars in our sky is on the verge of exploding, and when it does, the night sky will never look the same. Betelgeuse is about to go supernova, and what happens next could rewrite the story of the cosmos. Standing under a night sky, the stars scatter like embers across a velvet canvas. One star, glowing with a faint reddish hue, catches your eye in the constellation Orion. It's Betelgeuse, a cosmic titan that's been burning for millions of years, and it's acting strange. Astronomers are whispering about it, their telescopes trained on this distant giant, because something monumental might be brewing. This star, one of the brightest in our sky, could be on the verge of a cataclysmic explosion, a supernova that would light up the night like a second sun. What's happening up there, 725 light years away? And why does it matter to us here on Earth? Betelgeuse isn't just any star. It's a red supergiant, a behemoth so vast that if you plopped it where our sun sits, it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, and even Mars in one gulp. Its diameter is roughly 764 times that of our sun, a scale that's hard to wrap your mind around. Picture a beach ball next to a grain of sand. That's our sun compared to Betelgeuse. This star is a heavyweight born with a mass perhaps 20 times greater than the sun's, and it's been living fast and furious. Stars like this don't last long. While our sun, a modest yellow dwarf, will chug along for 10 billion years, Betelgeuse is already ancient at just 8 million years old. It's in its twilight, and the signs are unmistakable. For centuries, people have gazed at Betelgeuse, noting its reddish glow and tendency to flicker. Ancient Chinese astronomers called it the fire star a fitting name for its ruddy brilliance. But it's not just its color that makes it stand out. Betelgeuse pulses, brightening and dimming in cycles that last about 400 days, with longer shifts over years. These changes aren't random. They're clues to what's happening inside. Deep in its core, Betelgeuse is running out of fuel. It has burned through its hydrogen, then helium, and now it's fusing heavier elements, each stage shorter and more intense than the last. This is a star on the edge, teetering toward a final act that could rewrite the night sky. In late 2019, something extraordinary happened. Betelgeuse started to fade dramatically. By February 2020, it was dimmer than anyone had ever recorded, dropping to less than half its usual brightness. Amateur stargazers noticed it with their naked eyes, and astronomers scrambled to their observatories. They called it the Great Dimming a moment when Betelgeuse seemed to signal that its end might be near. Was this the prelude to a supernova? The question electrified the scientific community. Telescopes like the Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope turned their gaze to this cosmic enigma, trying to decode its message. What they found was astonishing. Betelgeuse had ejected a colossal cloud of material, gas and dust, that streamed out into space, forming a veil that blocked some of its light. This wasn't a small outburst. The mass it shed was equivalent to 400 billion solar flares. Imagine the sun spitting out a chunk of itself the size of a small planet, then multiply that by billions. That's what Betelgeuse did. The cloud, cooling as it drifted outward, turned into a dusty shroud that dimmed the star's glow. But was this a normal hiccup for a red supergiant, or a sign that its core was preparing for a final explosive collapse? To understand, we must consider what makes a star like Betelgeuse tick. Stars are cosmic furnaces powered by nuclear fusion. In their cores, they smash atoms together, turning lighter elements into heavier ones and releasing energy that makes them shine. Betelgeuse started life as a hot blue star, blazing with youthful vigor. Over millions of years, it grew cooler and larger, swelling into the red supergiant we see today. Its surface now glows at about 3,500 Kelvin compared to our sun's 5,500 Kelvin, giving it that distinctive red hue. But inside, the real drama is unfolding. As it burns through its fuel, the core becomes a battleground of physics, where gravity and fusion wage a relentless tug of war. Right now, Betelgeuse is fusing heavier elements like carbon and oxygen a process akin to burning the last scraps of firewood in a dying campfire. Each stage of fusion produces less energy and happens faster than the one before. Soon, maybe in decades, maybe in 100,000 years, the core will run out of fuel entirely. When that happens, gravity will win. The core will collapse in a fraction of a second, 
triggering a shockwave that rips through the star. The result? A supernova. An explosion so bright it could outshine an entire galaxy for weeks. If it happens in our lifetime, Betelgeuse's supernova would be visible even in daylight, a pinprick of light rivaling the moon's glow. But here's the catch. We're seeing Betelgeuse's past. At 725 light years away, the light we observe today left the star when nights still clashed in medieval Europe. If Betelgeuse exploded yesterday, we wouldn't know for another seven centuries. This time lag makes studying it like reading a history book with missing pages. Every flicker, every dimming is a snapshot of something that happened long ago. Yet astronomers are piecing together the puzzle, using every tool at their disposal to predict what's next. The great dimming offered a tantalizing clue. A team of researchers peering through Hubble's lenses saw that Betelgeuse had expelled superheated plasma from a massive convection cell, a bubbling region on its surface the size of a small star. As this plasma cooled, it formed dust particles that spread out, dimming the star's light. This wasn't just a random event. It was a glimpse into Betelgeuse's turbulent final chapter. Some scientists think this could be a precursor to the supernova, a sign that the star is shedding its outer layers as its core destabilizes. Others argue it's just a quirk of its variable nature, like a heartbeat skipping a beat. What would a supernova mean for us? First, don't worry. Earth is safe. At 725 light years, Betelgeuse is too far to harm us with radiation or debris. But the spectacle would be unforgettable. For weeks, it would dominate the night sky, a beacon in Orion's shoulder that outshines everything else. It would be a once in a millennium event, the kind that ancient astronomers would have recorded with awe. More than that, it would be a scientific gold mine. Supernovas forge heavy elements like gold and iron, the building blocks of planets and life. By studying Betelgeuse's explosion, we learn how stars seed the universe with the stuff that makes us. Betelgeuse's story is also a window into the past. Ancient records hint at its evolution. 2,000 years ago, Roman and Chinese stargazers described it as yellowish, not red. By the 9th century, Arabic astronomers noted its crimson glow. These changes suggest Betelgeuse has been transforming for centuries, cooling and expanding as it ages. Its variability, those rhythmic pulses, adds another layer of mystery. Sometimes it follows its 400-day cycle like clockwork. Other times, it defies predictions, dimming or brightening unexpectedly. These quirks challenge our models of how stars live and die. Astronomers are now watching Betelgeuse closer than ever. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its infrared vision, can peer through the dust clouds that Hubble couldn't fully penetrate. It's revealing new details about the star's outer layers, where material is constantly boiling off into space. Every observation adds a piece to the puzzle. But the big question remains, when will it explode? Some say it could happen within our lifetime, a cosmic fireworks show we'd be lucky to witness. Others caution it might not happen for tens of thousands of years. Either way, Betelgeuse is a ticking time bomb, and we're privileged to watch its final act. But even as Betelgeuse holds us in suspense, it's also prompting a deeper reckoning with the fragility and power of stars. Supernovas are not just celestial fireworks, they are cosmic reboots. When a massive star like Betelgeuse finally collapses, it does more than end its own life. It transforms its surroundings. The shockwave plows into surrounding interstellar gas, compressing it, sometimes even sparking the birth of new stars. So in a way, Betelgeuse's death could be the catalyst for new beginnings, a cosmic phoenix rising from its own ashes. Astronomers are also using this time to refine our models of stellar evolution. Every wobble, every unexpected dip in brightness challenges what we thought we knew. Some teams have started simulating thousands of scenarios using powerful supercomputers, trying to predict how a star exactly like Betelgeuse behaves in its final moments. They input variables mass, rotation rate, metallicity, magnetic fields, and run virtual stars to death, watching them explode in digital glory. These simulations not only prepare us for Betelgeuse's finale, but also help identify other stars that might be on a similar path. Meanwhile, new instruments coming online, like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, promise to monitor the sky with unprecedented resolution and frequency. If Betelgeuse flares up, We'll see it from every angle and in every wavelength.
from radio to gamma rays. The explosion, when it happens, will be the most studied supernova in human history. For once, we're not just spectators. We're equipped to record, measure, and learn in real time. But Betelgeuse also stirs something more emotional, more human. In a world often consumed by everyday struggles, there's something awe-inspiring about a dying star 725 light years away pulling our attention skyward. It reminds us that we are part of something vast, ancient, and mysterious. This connection to the stars is in our DNA, literally and metaphorically. The calcium in our bones, the iron in our blood, the oxygen we breathe, all were formed in the crucibles of stars that lived and died long before Earth was born. Poets might say that Betelgeuse is a reminder of impermanence. Scientists would add that in impermanence lies creation. The cycle of stellar death and rebirth underpins the architecture of galaxies. It is the story of the universe renewing itself. And now, as we await Betelgeuse's final flare, we become a small part of that cosmic narrative. So let the star burn a little longer. Let it flicker and whisper its secrets across the vacuum of space. Whether the explosion comes in a year or a millennium, Betelgeuse has already ignited something here. A sense of wonder, curiosity, and unity beneath the stars. One day, when that brilliant light appears in the sky, we'll look up not with fear, but with understanding, gratitude, and awe, knowing we witnessed history unfold light years away. Hit that subscribe button, share your thoughts below, and let's keep exploring the together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next.